Hey Sagittarius, this is your December general love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind that energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. And this reading won't resonate with everyone. So whatever resonates with you, just take that and then leave the rest that doesn't, okay? Um, I did want to announce that my brother... <clears throat> has started an Etsy store. He's an amazing innovator and I just love his products. Um, I've used over the years. So if you'd like to check it out, I'll put the link in the description box down below and that'd be great to come support us. Okay. All right. So the romance angel cards that you got for the month of December, let's talk about this a little bit. You have retreat deception and playfulness okay i feel like somebody here somebody was not being honest okay somebody here was either playing around and you've kind of just disconnected from everything right now um it's, this is either you or your person somebody got found out here that they've not been honest and possibly been fooling around or playing around with other people right or just not been honest about a specific issue that was important, you know, but I'm really feeling, you know, this person could have been, it has extended lighthearted energy to others. So definitely could have been playing around. All right. And this has made you retreat, kind of disconnect from everything. Um, almost as if I feel like you thought your intuition was on point and, um, Kind of felt fooled, okay? So your overall energy, we have, yes, the Four of Pentacles. So <clears throat> definitely, you guys are holding back right now, um, kind of protecting yourself, protecting your heart, not wanting to let anyone in right now, just kind of standing firm on your foundation and, and sticking to what's comfortable and safe with for you right now because um, this kind of, I feel like, threw you for a loop, okay? All right, so let's see what the current situation is. <clears throat> All right, so the current situation, we have the Page of Wands, the Eight of Swords in Reverse, <clears throat> and the King of Wands. Might be dealing with a fire sign, or this could be you, Aries, Leo, Sag. <clears throat> Current situation is somebody was being a little immature, possibly spreading around a little too much joy to other people, if you know what I mean. Okay? Judgment is here um, to let us know that the universe is stepping in and has stepped in. Okay? This is left... You or the other person in an Eight of Swords reverse, not feeling trapped in this situation any longer. I'm getting the feeling um, some of you couldn't figure out where it was headed, okay? So this has released any of that energy of feeling stuck, um, not knowing which direction to go. You've gotten clarity in the situation, and that is why the Eight of Swords is in reverse. You could be dealing with the fire sign. This could be you, okay? Getting ready to move on. But the only thing I don't like about this chariot is the chariots in all the decks for me are very important. But you have to look at the action in them, okay? The action in this chariot is one, one, of, uh, one of them is getting ready to go and the other one's just being lazy laying there going, oh, I don't know, not yet. We will in a little bit. And I know I've talked about this card in the past. Um, but it looks like, you know, he's, to me, it looks like this chariot. I don't know if you can see it. Is blowing on a hot dog. Just relaxing. You know, he, he took, he stopped for a little bit, grilled the hot dog on the side, put a fire, put it on or threw it on the rock because it's hot out there and let it sizzle eating for a little nice snack and then getting ready to go. Okay. But slowly the message here is it's slow, okay? And this King of Wands is standing firm, right? Just not wanting to move. 
at all. Okay. But there's an intention here when he puts his arm on his knee, you know, when you press up and you're getting ready to go, it's like the gumption is here. The intention is here to get up and get going, right? But the, the message that I'm getting is somebody's still not wanting, they're stuck, but they're not wanting to leave. So it's almost like emotionally staying there, but holding things back, not wanting to press forward, okay? So somebody is still holding on to somebody, I feel, okay? Let's see what your person is doing right now in regards to you. So we have Hierophant, Lovers, and Six of Cups. Your person is um, really wanting to commit to you. They have fond memories of you. They're thinking of this connection as being a divine connection, um, possible long-term commitment, right? It's not the hair font. Why the hair font? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so why the hair font is the hermit. So this could have possibly happened in the past because we do have judgment here. So this has been probably that last month, okay? This has occurred. And if not, it's happening more towards this moment, okay? But still, this is past. So this person has gone within and thought about their actions and thought about what they did and realizing that to lose you would to be to lose a potential long-term partner. And this person realizes that that's very hard to find. It doesn't excuse what they did at all. Tell me about the lover's card. I just heard somebody say, somebody that's watching this is going to say, yeah, it doesn't excuse them at all. Um, and then another word, <laughs> but, um, anyways, so <clears throat> moving on the lovers here, we have page of swords and two of pentacles. This person is trying to figure out a way to get this connection back. What can they do? And they're going back and forth about it. Okay. This person, I just heard, um, they're watching you. So this person is watching you, watching your every move. I just heard every move. Okay. This person is watching your every move, trying to figure out um, what you're doing, what you're up to, how to get to you. If And the weird thing is, though, I'm hearing I have nothing. So I think that they can't even find you. I don't know if you went off, went off social media or you've just gone MIA, which is probably why we have the retreat card here. I really feel like you've gone MIA um, to where there's no, there's a trace of you, but there's not much. It's, you're not posting anything. You're not um, engaging in conversations with people on online. There's no comments. Okay. Tell me about the six of swords or six of cups, six of swords. Moving on, right? Yeah. This person feels like they lost a soulmate this person this person feels like it's done but they don't want it to be done like they really they really hurt you they really stabbed you in the back they really uh, um self-sabotage this i get this feeling too like this thinking process of they knew what they were doing when they did it but they didn't realize the impact of what they could lose and that doesn't excuse them. Um, but this is a lesson. We all have lessons we have to learn. And unfortunately, the consequences in some of our lessons is we can lose people along the way. That's just how it is. So let me see how this person's feeling. Let's see what's in their heart space here. Yeah, we have seven of wands, hangman, three of pentacles. They feel like, yeah, you're just not willing to work with them at all. You're, you're guard, heavily guarded, hangman, 
almost again MIA. I just keep hearing MIA, missing in action. Like you're not letting anyone near you. <clears throat> what action will this person take, please? Thank you. In the month of December. All right, we have Moon, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and Death. Tell me about the Moon card. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Sorry, I just, it's so weird. I just saw, a, I don't know if you guys saw it, there was a feather. It just fell on my cards. And I don't know where it came from. It just went, there it is, in midair. Again, another one. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Oh, shoot. I just dropped it again. Sorry. Sometimes angels like to give messages, you know? they. That was awesome, though. Right where I was shuffling, just in midair. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, there's some kind of intention. They are... Um, I feel like they're manifesting this with you. They feel like... You know, there's, I just heard roadblocks. So there are definitely a lot of roadblocks. They know that they can't go come towards you. Um, they have no chance. Uh, they're not even gaining information about you. <clears throat> they're trying really hard, but there's no, there's nothing that they can, there's nothing that they can do. So they're trying hard to assert themselves in a way, um, energy wise, so that you don't forget them. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the thing is, though, I don't like this because um, as their energy of, for what they've done, and this is the action, so they're just going to keep their confidence, stick, on to their, stick to their ego, stay in control of their life, you know, and but still, I just feel like it's a manipulating energy thing. Is what it feels like. They just want to stand firm and, and turn this or turn it around, but not in the right way. Although they know that they can't come. I don't see any I don't see any real remorse. I feel like they're remorseful that they got caught. If that makes sense. Like they don't feel any sad feelings for you they just feel like sad for themselves because they got caught in the situation let me see the challenge i want to find out yeah challenge is the tower things have ended okay tower world Four of Wands, Five of Wands, okay? No longer any possibility of things coming around and having a solid relationship, solid foundation. Four of Wands, Tower, Foundations crumble, okay? World card is ending. Tell me what happened in the Tower. Page of Cups. Somebody was emotionally immature. See? So, somebody may have been swooning other people. Tell me what Page of Cups. I've been using that lately and it's not even my word. I don't know why. <clears throat> Page of Cups. Yeah. Been looking at all the other options. Thinking that they were the bee's knees. They were top. You know, that's like, I just heard... You know, they have a big head. So, it's like this person's ego was too big for themselves, okay? And they felt like they could have their cake and eat it too. Yeah, they could have all these options up in the air because they're sitting over here like the empress, right? Everybody wants them and, you know, which one should I choose for the moment? Which one should I have for each day or, you know, whatever. It's like that mentality and they're all up in their, in their head and about it, you know, just kind of not seeing things for what they really are. So it's, um, this kind of that feeling, oh, I just heard, don't know what it, you don't know what you have till it's gone. So yeah, I definitely feel like 
that's how they've that's how they're feeling now like they had to learn this lesson the hard way and and the consequence is losing you which was the most important thing in their life and um a potential partner for long term which is very hard to find these days but this person realizes that <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I kept coughing too before your reading and I felt like, but it wasn't a regular cough. It was like, I couldn't. Somebody wants like to speak or has not spoken their truth because the throat chakra is like really clogged for you guys. <clears throat> Something or something's holding you back. All right. Like, I feel like some of you just want to, some of you want to say something like not to get them back just to be like you know do you realize how how ridiculous you are do you realize like some of you instead of because you're in retreat mode but you just want to like I get that feeling you want to say your piece but it's like you're waiting for the right time which is good okay so what's the outcome of this for December for Sagittarius Ooh, new love coming in. This is awesome. You guys, for December, you guys, if it's not December, I did hear the next three months, three, okay? Something to do with three, whether it's uh, third month, three weeks from now, something with three, okay? But... You will be resting. Sorry, I should put these up together. Queen of Cups, Four of Swords. So you're going to be healing your heart, okay? Um, realizing what you do want in your love life and what you're willing to accept and what you're not. And actually seeing the red flags before they appear, right? But we have new love coming in and that's fantastic for you guys. I think that's wonderful. And this is something that's going to fulfill you. Something that's going, something that you've wished for. Something that you wanted. Something that possibly you have really asked for, you know, the, to the universe in your love life before. This is something that you've, you're going to really want. So I, right now, just rest, do you. And allow the energy to come and let this person come in. Okay? All right. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.